Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Did you have a good week? I sure hope so. Hey, I have a question for you and a question for you. What do you think about when you think about God? Yeah. What kind of things do you think about? What is his attributes, his characteristics? What kind of qualities does God have? Have you thought about that? Well, let's look at God is a holy one. He is set apart above all creation because he is perfect. He is worthy of our respect and awe. You know, it says in Isaiah 6, 3, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's army. His glory fills the whole earth. Yeah. So what does it mean to respect God? What does it mean? Well, to be good, to worship and honor God, to obey God in order to obey him, we must learn about God. And how do we learn about God? By reading our Bibles. Did you know God is love? Love is God's greatest attribute. His love is the foundation of our relationship with him and with others. We love because God first loved us. Yeah, first loved us. Yeah. And so we know the love that God has for us and we trust that love, trust that love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God lives in him. 1 John 4.16. Yes. What is one way we can show God's love to another? Well, hmm, we could do dishes without being told, make our bed, feed our pets. How about help somebody who's in need? Can you help somebody who's in need? Huh? We can tell people about Jesus. We could pray for one another. Did you know God is faithful? Yes. God is always there for us. He is always keeps his promises. And we can rely on God, and he is worthy of our trust. It says in 2 Timothy 2, 13, if we are not, if we are not faithful, but still, be f but he is still faithful, because he must be tr true to who he is. God is true to us, even though we are not. Did you know that? Yeah. Can you think of a time that God was faithful to you and your family? Well. Can you think about a bad time in your life? I can think of a bad time that I had. I was homeless with the kids when PJ and Etta was about your age. And we didn't have a home. And I trusted God to provide one for us. And lo and behold, he picked out just the right place for us to live. I trusted him. And he was faithful to me because I was faithful to him. God is good. Our God is a good God who gives good gifts to his children. When we look for his goodness in the world around us, we will find it. It says in Psalms 31, 19, how great is your goodness. You have stolen it up Show it up for those who fear you. You do good things for those who trust you. What, what is a one good gift God has given you? Your family? Yeah. Your friends? Yeah. Well, what about something that he really has given you? Didn't he give you Jesus? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And what did Jesus do? Send the Holy Spirit to live with us. 
Did you know that God is wise? God knows everything. He knows the right choices in every situation. And when we ask God for wisdom, he will show us what we need to know. In Colossians 2, 3, it says, And in him all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are safely kept. Can you remember a time that you needed wisdom from God to make the right decision? How about when your friends come to you and they got an idea to go do something? And you think it's a really good idea, but really, is it? God tells you the right thing to do, and you don't do it. God kept you safe. He had you make the right decision. God is grace. Grace is God's free gift to us. It's his goodness and love offering to us, even though we don't deserve it. In Hebrews 4, 16, let us then feel free to come before God's throne. Here there is grace, and we can receive mercy and grace to help us when we need it. When we need it. Isn't that great? How does it make you feel to know that God's grace is available to us whenever we need it. Does that make you feel good, happy? Just remember, God is with us, and he is there to help us. God is our friend. God loves us so much that he wants to take, to, ha to have a relationship with us, to be, a fr be our friend, to walk closely with us, every day of our lives. It says in John 15, 15, I do not call you servant now. I call you friend. You're a friend. How awesome is that to be God's friend? What do you think that looks like to be God's friend? Are you happy? Are you joyful? Yeah. When we tell somebody about Jesus, we are showing God our friendship, aren't we? Do you think God's happy with us when we do that? Yeah. God is the great healer. God has the power to heal our hearts and our bodies. He takes care of our emotional and physical well-being. And when we pray and ask him to help us, we can be assured that he hears and he heals. In Psalms 103, 2 through 5, it says, My whole being praises the Lord. Do not forget all his kindness. The Lord forgives me of all my sins. He heals all of my diseases he satisfies me with good things. Was there a time that God healed you or somebody in your family? Let me tell you a story about Miss Bev. A while back, Miss Bev was told by the doctors that her heart was not so good, that she needed surgery. And so, and it wasn't just... It was a hurry up and do it the next day type of thing. So the people, the people of the church came together and they prayed over me. And then my pastor took me up to Portland. Yeah. And to the hospital. And we prayed again. And then the nurse, when they were prepping me for surgery, she came in and prayed with me. And then the second surgeon came along and prayed with me. And when they got me into the operating room and they put a camera up into my heart, the head surgeon couldn't believe it. My heart was healed. There was no sign of clogs in my arteries whatsoever. 
They didn't have to do a triple bypass. God healed me. Wasn't that awesome? God is a comforter. God offers us comfort in the midst of every circumstances. When we acknowledge that God is near, we feel his love wrap around us with peace and protection. It says in 2 Corinthians 1.4, He comforts us every time we have trouble so that we can so that we can comfort others when we have trouble, when they have trouble. We can comfort them with the same comfort that God gives us. Can you know a time when you needed comforting from God? How about when it's stormy outside and the lights go off? Aren't you scared? Yeah, the wind is blowing, the rain is coming down, and there's no lights. Then all of a sudden, this peace of peace comes over you. That's God holding you in his arms and keeping you comfortable. God is a shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd, our guide. He takes care of us as he leads us through our, as our, through our lives. It says in Psalms 23.1, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. What do you think it means to be led or guided by God? Well, by letting the Holy Spirit into our hearts to be led down the right path, not to do the wrong things, but to do what is right and to say the right things. That's God leading us and trusting him as we trust him. The God we serve is a loving, powerful ever-present, never-changing Father who loves us more than we can ever, ever imagine. He will never leave us. Isn't that awesome? God is always with us, no matter what we do, whether it's good or bad, he is still there, holding our hands, helping us through. We just need to open our hearts and our minds to what he has for us. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for caring for us, for loving us, guiding us so that we don't do the wrong things or say the wrong things, for healing us of our hurts. And thank you for sending Jesus to take away our sins so that we can go to heaven and be with you, and for sending the Holy Spirit to live in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.